Well, done, John's got, it well, it's all merged into one now. We're not calling it half of me and half of it. It's all just the John and Sam. Well, what do we call it? The Scott and Davis. The Scott and Davis show. Or well, Davis and Scott. No, it has to be Scott and Davis, I'm afraid. But anyway, 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 we have got now two hours, or just less than two hours, because she went over on my hour, but uh, of just the most incredible deals. All I'm going to say to you is... Remember, whatever deal Sarah has done, if you are a new Club Inspire and it's your first purchase, you will get 20% off the deal that Sarah's done for you. So if you get something with like £60 worth of goodies in, you still get those £60 worth of goodies plus your 20% off. That's if you're a new Club Inspire. And it's so worth being a member because not just you, you get... Um, invitations to things and there are special deals and and then the higher up the, the ladder you go the, the the bronze the silver the gold there's more perks you can see on the website it's free to join after anything but also if you're one of my ladies and you have already bought something and you're thinking oh I really want one of those Gemini's when we come to the Gemini all of them if you put in the code John 20 you'll get 20% off right I'll shut up I'll shut up what are you starting with shape creator is that what you started with I am indeed. She is indeed. Yes, she is. <laughs> yes, we nearly I'm caught out her there. Comments. Right. I, am I giving you a preview of everything I've got coming up, or are we going straight into it? Straight into it. Right. So here's the thing, John. I was going to do loads of work with those lovely Tula pink fabrics, and they're pretty much gone. Yeah. But luckily, the Japanese fabrics almost gone. But there's a little bit more. We had a little bit more of those. How did you get that from under my table? <laughs> So I crawled along when you weren't looking and I've just pinched it from underneath. I'm not even kidding you. Uh, right, so yeah, so this, I've, I've pinched half of your piece. I quite like this one. These are the ones, can you see, that have the, um, the gold threading run through them, the gold printing onto there. So I love these ones. Right, this is a wonderful project that Lizzie taught me. It's right up my street because it's a really super quick no-saw one, right? No-saw. Uh, no complicated sewing in here, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the shape creator John and I'm going to cut it to about uh, six and a half inches wide makes a little purse this so I'm going to cut it to six and a half inches wide watch how this works okay so if I lie this on I've just folded it up so that we can do uh, multiple multiple folds at once uh, sorry one big cut and uh, cut through multiple layers at once and what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up I'll try and put it so that you can see the whole thing on the overhead can you see I'm going to line this up here along the bottom along one of those dotty lines. And I'm just gonna take this right near the edge so that we can trim off. Now, if I start right at the at, right at zero, you'll be able to count with me instead of- Have you mentioned you're giving a free gift with this, by the way? Uh, no, I think you should mention that. John, I will too. Right, I'd forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you buy this, you get a free gift, the tool tidy. The tool tidy. I'm in my box apparently, but I haven't got a tool tidy to show you. But if you I'll, get, I'll get it for you, you get a tool tidy for free. Anyway, carry on. Uh, thank you. Yes, it's a good job you're keeping us right, John, isn't it? Absolutely. I'm, uh, I told you. I told you what happens when I start going on the uh, on the sewn bit. All I do is the uh, all I focus on is one thing. Exactly. Right. So that's cut to six and a half inches wide now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to um, fifty. Was it fifteen inches? Lizzie told me to do. Uh, 15 inches, I'm pretty yeah, sure Yeah, do 15 was. inches. Yeah, 15. So, so it's 15 because then it'll give us 30, 30 inches in total to work with. So again, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, I'm going to put my zero line right on the edge here. And then I'm going to come along to 15. So here's my 15 up here, into here, and just trim off at the 15. So that's given me the perfect length for this little project. And you can see with every one of these, basically, there's a hole, there's a little hole at every half an inch. And it's perfectly sized so that you can get your, uh, you can get your cutter into here and just cut up. And as John said, I did a Bargello quilt. And you would think that's pretty, pretty advanced for a, a beginner, but it's just all about the cutting, isn't it, John? Oh I no, did it totally. live on one of these totally. shows. And I did all the cutting, because it's, you know, cut one at two inches and the next one at two and a half and the next one at three. And you're just literally counting along, popping this in, in and then it does the cut for you and it works brilliantly well obviously all standard uh, rotary cutters now here's what you're going to do you've now got a piece that's six and a half inches wide 30 inches long okay and what we're going to do is we're going to come to um three and a half inches 
put a fold, well it's actually three and a quarter first, put a fold in, I'm just going to do this, uh, I'm just going to do this roughly with my... I am watching, iron. I'm just I'm inspired by you. You're inspired by me, yes. are you John? I love that, I'll totally take that one, right? <laughs> so I'm just folding my first piece, shouldn't really iron straight onto here, but we are live on TV and we're getting it there, right? So I've done my first piece here. At uh, sorry, I'm going to bond. I've folded it back. I've ironed it backwards first, and then I'll line it the right way. So we're putting a fold in at three and a quarter inches, and then we're going to put our next fold in at three and a half inches. You'll see. You'll see it all come together. Uh, this is. It's one of them projects. Liz, I remember Lizzie teaching me how to do it when I first started sewing, and this is my uh, my kind of go-to when I want to do something really quick and easy. The next one. You're going to make just a little bit taller. So the next one's going to come in at roughly three and a half inches. Now, it doesn't matter if these aren't exact because we'll, you'll see when we come to make the quilt. So here we go. And I'll get my ironing board out this time so we can do it right. So I've got these all lined up at the base here. There we go. And then I've got a short one and a longer one. And I'm going to give that another press there. So I'm giving that a nice good press because this is how we're going to stitch the whole thing together. Uh -huh. And then with the bit that's left over, you fold it in half along the top. So you're just going to fold it along the top and give it a press at the halfway point. Now, hold it. Uh, let's pop the iron down there. I'm going to use them little quilting clips, which we're very lucky to have back on today. We are indeed. And the just price is fantastic. The price is always fantastic on your shows, John. <laughs> we make sure of it. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch down these two sides. Now, a couple of years ago, I learned what an overlocker was. Oh, yes. My life has changed dramatically ever since then. Because you've met me, John. I don't do anything at a regular pace. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing at speed. Yes. So I love the overlocker because it goes so fast, but it does two things at once. It's doing the stitching at once and it's going to overlock the edges. Uh, but then also you can get the, so it's going to do all of the overlocking for me. So it means the edges are a lot stronger, right? So all I'm going to do is I've got the overlocker out. We've got this on the show, by the way. So I know most of your ladies watching will already have an overlocker. Most of my ladies watching, a lot of you have been on the sewing journey with me over the last, what? three, four months now. And a lot of you might have started with a machine and be ready now. You've done a few projects and you're ready to move up and get an overlocker as well, okay? So we'll be using it a lot this uh, this next couple of hours. And all I'm going to do is pop this in place. Uh, while you're stitching, can I yes. interrupt? Because uh, it's on. UK only, right? UK only. Um, you get 500 extra bonus points if you buy this. 249.99, which will take you from one category. If you're still going to take to gold, won't it? And things like that it's just fantastic so please 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 always be aware of things like that yes you definitely don't want to miss out on that and what i love is so once you'll start to learn this about our club people who understand about the club literally once you once you understand it you can just take advantage of it and it can't you can kind of work it for you yes so you can keep making sure you, you kind of get double discount then on everything right are you looking i've done all of that overlocking and i'll just get my scissors and I'll just trim the fit. So bear in mind, we've done this whole project. It's all about having the right tools, isn't it? Yes. We'll have done this whole project in about uh, five minutes. My sort of project, John. Um, because we've done the overlocking so quick. And also we did the cutting perfectly. Now here's what you do, right? You're going to open this up. Can you see? We've got our right sides of fabric together. You're going to put your hand in there. Not in one of the next pieces right? Because you, you won't be able to go very far, that's your fold. So you're going to find it where you've got, you can put your hand all the way in and you're going to turn that whole piece inside out first of all, okay? So I'm going to get right in and I'm going to go right up to the corners. Now we've still at this point got an open edge on the bottom, right? Which you don't want, obviously. So then all you're going to do is turn that inside out as well. So can you see, I might actually just uh, trim a few of these. Oh, it's not too bad. I was going to say trim a few corners off to, so that I can turn it inside out a little bit easier. But if I just come in with the blunt end of my scissors, there we go, right into the corners there. And it looks wonderful in that Japanese fabric. Give it a nice bit of a press again. Now, if you want to take a kind of a next level, you can do a little bit of top stitching around that as well. However, how super simple was this? And what you'll find is, 
can you see you've got your little pocket inside there as well yeah. or the other option is you can turn this right through again like that and then you can have your little pocket if you want on the back so i quite like oh. the little pocket on the back as well so i'll take it inside though and we'll have a two little pockets on the inside no i've gone one way one one Wrong way, the other way. Uh, <laughs> and all, you know, all you're doing basically is making sure you put that whole, that whole seam together. So there we go, our little pocket inside on the front and then the top comes down and Lizzie does these with the nice little press stud or whatever on the front. Yeah. And you can do basically a super quick and simple little little purse. Ha. And you can do them in all sizes. So I just did the little miniature version. So, so you can what, do it what bigger. size did you start with? I started with at 30 inches long, yeah. six and a half inches there wide. There you go, just so in case somebody missed the beginning piece. of it at home. Yeah. Yes, isn't that super cute? Super cute, super easy. And that's obviously using that lovely uh, Japanese fabrics. Love little quick projects like that. Okay, so if you're just tuning in, what Sarah just used, she's just used the Shape Creator, the Shape Creator there, which is $49.99, but you do get, look, now next to it, you get this tool tidy, which I'll show you in a second, um, what exactly it is, because I've just got to get out, get it out of its box. <laughs> I've got it out of the box. Oh, these are brilliant. These are brilliant. I had, I've got, I've got two of these, right? This is all silicon right this is all silicon inside here right so you can put your pens your scissors your quick gun picks the thing is these don't need to be just for sewers right if you've got this could be in your office you keep all your pens and all your pencils in there you saw lizzie had this on her desk earlier with all of her tools going in there if you're a painter put your brushes there. makeup artist put your brushes in there and a thing then you can have them all displayed for you that's free that's completely free if you buy the the, uh, the shape uh, uh, the shape creator today. I oh, know, fantastic. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. The Japanese fabrics are here. Right now, one isn't here. <clears throat> one isn't here, but they're all available on the website. Right, they're all six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Yeah, I'm talking to that one. You're looking at that one. There you go. Six. Oh, hang on. <laughs> they're all there. <laughs> they're all here now. They're and six ninety nine. Yours won't all be. Oh, that's a little purse. I've got a wallet and a purse today. That's nice. Um, they're all six ninety nine for half a meter. You can have whatever length you want. Or if you buy two half meters, you get it for twelve fifty. A special deal going on. So there's the brown and gold one with the cranes on. There's the one with the dragons and the tigers on the black background. You've got the tamari balls on the red background. You've got the beautiful. Uh, T uh, t tigers and the dragons again on the blue look at the blossoms all the blossom prints you've got the red leaping um carp with the sash gold the sash gold patterns about this i love this one this is your tamari balls in the blue and then these these are the most popular the two uh, tiger ones one on green now that's got a green background that's got a black background just so you know they're all 6.99 for half a meter by two half meters for 12 pound 50 but that's by the half meter you can have it and also if, if you buy two meters it doesn't come cut into four half meter pieces it comes in the length that you have um that you've ordered and then i'll just put this scrap back on the top that sarah's finished with there also while we're here we had these clips the clips are on special offer today they're a bog off you buy one you get one for free they're four they're normally four pounds and 99 pence each or oh, no, i'll put it lower there you go 4.99 each you get two for 4.99 right what's next then what we're doing next face masks face masks i haven't got any here oh hang on i'm being thrown there we <laughs> so they sorry modeling it beautifully so we again have got the oblong ones with the pleats in and we've got the curved ones now i haven't got one of these to show you so sarah's going to have to show you exactly you what's available one, oh here you go she's sending them back she's sending them back to me now Doing a lot of, oh, you've got the we are doing ones. distancing don't worry oh so just the two right you've okay. got two i've got two okay oh okay so the two i've got here this one here is the face mask curve oh they're beautiful like um like a squiggly um oh there's i'm gonna open it i'm gonna open it sorry i'm gonna open it okay no. i've got that one on john Oh, that's when you got on. Yeah. Won't open it, won't open it. If you get this one, when it gets home, I did that. You can still open it and show them the design. Yeah, yeah, because I want to see the panel. The panel's yeah. gorgeous. Look, 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 look. Look at these squiggles. So they all come on the panel. So there's a, a, a back side and a front side to each of them. There you go. Oh, I've got to move because the camera can't move. That's the bottom bit. And then I'll turn it round and you can see the other half of it now. 
There's the other colours there. The purples and the reds. So you get the elastic, you get the instructions, and you get the panel to make them. So that's a gorgeous, like, oil on water sort of pattern. And then the other one is the same fabric, but in the squares. And then Sarah's got the other version. Now, these are all £16. Or whatever colour way you go for, just choose when you go to the website which one you want. Yes, I'll, should I show you this one? We had this on a few weeks ago, John. This is the first one we had. This is the one that my kids love because they're nice and bright. If I open this up, there we go. And you can see each one, this is, this is going to do the square face mask. So if I show you this one here, this is it. They, and I find these ones the most comfortable to wear. I'm going to show you how you put the pleats in the side. But can you see they're all double sided? So my dad, for example, likes to wear this side out. Uh, I like to wear the pattern sides out like this, okay? So there you go. You can see with this one. Oh, I think we'll, de we'll demonstrate the leopard print, right? Then you've got the uh, rounded one. Uh, sorry, the rainbow one. Now, bear in mind, this can come. You can either do the square or the rounded. Do you want to see my dad's rounded one? Yes, please. Yes, he is. So I made him pause for the camera with the oh. round, with the right side out. But he, when he goes to the doctors, he wears it. When he wears it with his yellow bit in. And this is the, a lot of people. You have to wear these now in the UK in public places. So whether it's on public transport, whether you're wearing them uh, to go, like like he has to go to the doctors. Uh, and he, he cut his thumb. He has to go and get it redressed every few days. So he has to go to the doctors every few days to get his thumb redressed. And he now wears his uh, his face mask. Oh. there's the lovely uh, leopard print one again and then you've got the rainbows rainbows look fabulous uh, I did that one for Joe and then also you've got now these ones here that are like the multicoloured I made these for the kids well actually the kids sat and sewed them themselves but all I did was if you have a look at the kids the faces are a bit smaller so what I did is I, I, I just sewed them a little bit further in and I put an extra pleat in so look at it he's my two boys oh, with their little no. face masks on and these are the ones that we used exactly these fabrics so by popular request we have got these back in stock for you and you get six of the designs on the panel now let's have a look should I, i'm going to do it right from the beginning for anybody who hasn't yet made a face mask as long as you have a sewing machine at home there is absolutely no reason why you can't be making all of your own face masks so all you're going to do is you're going to cut them and the seams are going to go inside, so it doesn't matter if we don't get right exactly to the end, John, she no. says, because, you know, I like to go super fast speed for everything. So there's the first one on here. And I'm going to do this as the... Well, it doesn't really matter. I was going to say I'm going to do this as the outside and the other one as the inside. Well, now, I was going to say, because if, like your dad, if you're making it for somebody who you know isn't going to like brightly cut i'd love that one you see but some people might not like that and they might like the, the mustardy one with the writing on so you just choose which one just you're going to use which for side the outside. you want to go for absolutely now i've got the two pieces ready now i like to just iron them and hold them in place with those quilting clips uh -huh. so can you see if i just iron this first of all and then you can see there so at the bottom we have our first line so this is going to be um uh, these ones here can you see these lines line up together to get you on, They're actually on the, the fabric, aren't they? They're actually already. printed yeah. on the sides of the fabric. So what you do first of all is I'm going to fold over to this last pleat line. Now I find it a little bit easier when I do them to kind of put the clip in place so that I can see that pleat line. Uh -huh. And then once I've got the clip in place, I can do all of the ironing to kind of get that, get that right. Yeah. And then all I'm going to do is th these ones here just fold the pleats together so you can see the two big thick black ones fold those over and pop one of our quilting clips in there and then the same at this top one here fold those two together line up the little fold lines and put a little quilting clip in and it just means that you don't have to work out where all those folds are going to go because someone's done all the thinking for oh, you yeah, exactly. yeah so i'm just going to do this on the front one and then again on the back one again john uh, and as long as you can watch what i'm doing you kind of don't need to hear us if you've got any comments or anything you need to do oh yeah no no i've got oh i've got lots of comments coming through sorry i'll just do some emails here um also the other thing you could do is we've got a rotary cutter coming up later if you don't want to use scissors to cut them out you can use a rotary cutter to cut them out and a cutting mat right so let's quickly oh my word there's so many um right i've done that one done that one um 
I've got one of the shape creators. They're fabulous for cutting bias strips, says Teddy, as well as his straight strips. Great show. I love the builder block curve. They make each piece so accurate, which is exactly what Sarah was saying. Love the tip to use the glue pen to hold before stitching. Sue, thank you. That's brilliant. And, but make sure you use a glue pen that is made like by ours because it's been developed for going on fabric. Don't just go and buy any old glue stick to go on it. Um, what sewing machine do you use at home, says Mitzi? Sarah. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, well, I, we, in, the, in the studio here, we've got the fancy computerised one. Yeah. At home, I just use our L100, which is our Gemini one, which is a fantastic kind of starter machine for people. So, again, and it's one that I'm not frightened to let the kids have a go on. Yeah. If it was a computerised one, I'd definitely be frightened to let the kids <laughs> loose on them. I'm not going to lie. And they're all um, on the website, aren't they? They're the all on the website. Yeah. It's brilliant because £129, Oof. which is a brilliant price Very for a kind of starter machine. Um, June's messaging saying I I've had my Gemini for a couple of years now and I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it so easy and reliable and Crafters Companion customer service is second to none. The ladies are always so lovely. Well, you've you've not seen Sharon on a bad day. Have we not got any boys in there yet? <laughs> uh, we've had Shea in helping recently. Shea's from our product development, development oh, yes. team. He's one of our testers, but he's been drafted in to help customer services because of all the um, all the new customers we've had. We've had a lot of people obviously asking a lot of questions. Of course, and, got, and I also, whenever much. they send me a question on Facebook, I always go, oh, I I email this address, ask for Sharon. And the poor old Sharon's inundated with them. Um, oh, that's why she's got a dartboard on the wall with your face. Oh, don't I don't what that. it was. She said she loved me. <laughs> um, I'm sure that's what she thank says. Thank you, Sarah, is. for a lovely demonstration, says Shadia. Michelle said, no, hang on. No, uh, no. Oh, yeah, Michelle said, these are new prints. I'm glad you put blues and pinks in the same pack. Oh, that's nice, Michelle. Yeah. Nell says, I've been waiting to see. Uh, oh, uh, the uh, overlocker demos. Thank you so much. Waiting for my overlocker to arrive so I can learn how to do this. That's from Nell. And Lynn says, I'm cutting out my fabric for face marks at the moment, but they are from the last packs that you had. Well, Lynn, you should have made those by now and be getting some more by now, shouldn't you? Well, they're, and they're exactly the same. Yeah. So it, it, if, you've, if you've made some with the last ones and you just want the fabulous new animal print fabrics or whatever, you can absolutely pick up one of these new ones today. Oh, also, it's not just going to be a quick fix because they are going to be, we are going to be wearing masks for a long time i think a lot of people are thinking Jeez. oh it's all over now it's fine I, I went to a garden center last weekend and it was absolutely terrifying i was the only person apart from the staff of the shop i was the only person and i was just wearing one of my face masks like i look like a cowboy and um people were, like looking at me as though i was crazy and i was like it's not over no it's not over because if you're on a bus you have to in england yeah. you now have to wear a mask don't you or face covering if you're on a bus or thing and i think they're going to be around for especially if they make it go to one meter this, I think the face masks are going to be really important, aren't they? Face uh, coverings. It, it, it is going to be. And like you say, it's kind of here to stay. And also, I think it's a bit of a sign of respect, John, because you don't wear a mask to protect yourself. No. You may wear a mask to protect other people. Yes. Yeah. And so I think it's a little bit disrespectful to go out. Like, I wouldn't dream of going out to the supermarket and not having a mask on. Yes. Because it's not fair on, on the people. And the staff, the key worker staff who have to be in there. Yeah. Now, do you know what I'm going to do? What? Because I like to do everything at pace. I'm going to whiz it through me. Well, I was about to say to you, have you used mm. an overlocker? I'm going to use stitches. the overlocker. Do you it's know what I'm going to do? and finishes edges at the same time. So, because considering this is going to have to go in the washing machine every, every after day. every time you've yep. washed it, this must be washed at high temperature, right? If you've overlocked the seams on the inside, then it's going to make it even stronger. And what I do, you see, because I've got the, because um, I've got the kits. What I'm doing is uh, I have about four masks on the go. Now, we do have our, um, we have to have our washing machine on every night because obviously the kids are going to school now, John, which means that they have to have um, freshly washed clothes on every morning. Oh, yes, of course. So um, so we've got the washer on every night. So I've just got our face masks, mine and my husband's, and we just have, we've got a nice mix of the rainbow ones. And the. Uh, I, I mean, this is the kit that I made all of my original ones from. Yeah. And we just have them at the, at the house now and they just, you know, ready. You're happy with ra rainbow time. ones. Yep. I didn't give him a choice. Oh, okay. The first, the first <laughs> kit we had, the first kit we had, John, only had these designs in. So I said, right, sweetheart, 
Which one would you like? Oh, okay. He does turn it back to front though, so he, he does have See, I can't, I can't imagine him wearing rainbows or flowers <laughs> somehow. He's, you know. Yeah, he's ginger as well, so it goes really great with his skin tone. <gasps> uh, right, here we go. So She can say that, I can't. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so I'm going to whiz this along the edge. And like you say, it's just going to make it so much stronger. Now, I will just... Oh, come on, see if we can get that round. Yes, here we go go so if i just whiz this along here i love the idea of having all of those edges overlocked right we're gonna have to go through there maybe maybe he's using my uh there we go i'm just gonna have to get my, my my little pin out of there come on i'll just get my uh let's have a look let's have a little look i'm just gonna get my pin out of here john yes, all right while well, you're doing that Got we it. don't need to watch you do it what don't watch you do that uh, if you buy the overlocker right you get a free um strip roll and you get 500 points for your um, Club Inspire. 500 points, that takes you into another stratosphere, really. Just, there it all is, there it is, look. Lovely box up. Now, the one question I've got to ask, are they easy to thread? Because that's the one thing that puts people off buying an overlocker is because in the old days, if I had one years ago when I worked in theatre, right? And if ever it came unthreaded, I'd have to ring the man and go, it's come unthreaded. Can you come and thread it for me? Because they were so complicated. Times have changed. I'm sure you've made this one completely. Um, and I think you've made this one really, really easy to thread. Really, really easy to thread. So, as I say, you get 500 points. Don't look at this yet. This is for later. You get 500 points. And, oh, I'm pointing this. This is a strip roll. You get free with it. And you get 500 points, which takes you up into the next stratosphere. Now, I've got two of the pa panels here. One that I've already shown you. This is the curved squiggle one. Well, I'll, show you, I'll show it to you in the main picture like that to start with. Right? Isn't that, aren't the colours lovely? £16, right? £16. You get the panel, which is, this is lovely cotton. And I imagine when it's washed, it'll be even nicer. Really, really beautiful. So you get the, uh, the cotton panel. You get the... Oh, I tried to pick that elastic up, but it's inside a plastic bag. The elastic. And you get how to make them, the instructions of how to make them as well. They're made by Fabies, which are a fantastic, fantastic um, fabric uh, supplier and manufacturer and everything like that. They're absolutely... Can you hear us sewing away over there? I've also got the other panel here. So that's your curved squiggles. I've also got... Shall I open this one? I'll open this one. I'll show you this one. I'll do what I like then. I feel a bit bad opening them though. Anyway, look. Oh, nice. Oh, now the print. Oh, you see, now I should have opened this one. The print is bigger. You see the squiggles on here? It's bigger than it is on the curved ones. I like that. This is one I'll have. So that's two purses and a panel I'm taking with me today. 16 pounds. And you can make six masks and you get the elastic. And there was a bit of a hold up with the elastic. Not from us, not from us, but you couldn't buy elastic for love no money at the start of all this. When I started my um, mask making uh, demos and things like that, you just could not get any elastic at all. 16 pounds. So I've got the squiggle ones, square and um, curved. And Sarah's got the um, rainbow ones, the rainbow ones. Right, so. Oh, I've uh, got pins going down, John. I'm trying to catch me pins at the same time. Oh, uh, you asked about them. You asked about how easy it was to thread. Yes. Do you want the Sarah cheat way, right? Yeah. So um, let me just show you in here. If I turn this round, the camera... Now, camera we haven't camera rehearsed this. That was just a question of throw down. No, 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 so. that's absolutely fine. Uh, so to open it, you literally pull it towards you. And you can see here, it's all colour-coded. And we have a ton of videos on YouTube. However, right? Yeah. I have not yet threaded my one at home. Right? right? So all I do is when I want to change the thread, I just take the thread, I just take it off the back. Yeah. I put the next colour on and tie it, like tie a little knot, and just chain it through. And as it comes through, it switches to the next colour. And we've got the extra colours of co uh, cottons on there. I did once have to, um, I had to re-thread one of my last, one of, one of the last loopers, but only the one. What you must do is thread them in order. So can you see they've got one, two, three, and four. Do you know who's done all the videos to show you how to thread them online? Who? Our Lizzie. Oh. Our Lizzie, she literally did it step by step, very slowly. Just need your little pair of tweezers and you just thread it through. But actually, the chances of you having to thread it are pretty slim. And do you know what the other great thing is? We're a UK manufacturer, which means if you buy this, the machine, you buy it from us. 
So if there's a problem, you ring us. So you ring Sharon and her team. Uh, we do any troubleshooting we can over the phone or by video. And then if you still can't get the hang of it, we get your machine picked up, brought in. We've got our engineer, John, on site. John fixes it, or sometimes Bernie gets involved in support, sort it all out and sends it off back to you. So it's not like you're buying it from an American manufacturer or a European manufacturer where it's got to be sent overseas. You get it sent to our head office here and we'll do all the customer support for you. In fact, I feel a bit sorry for John because his station used to be in this building, right? And then I arrived and I was like, I need a space, I need a table. So he got shipped off to the warehouse. He works in the warehouse now and I've got the desk here. Um, that's how it works. Sorry, John. Sorry, John. He's a lovely man. Right. Now, the one thing I've got to say to you before that is if you are going to pull the thread through, which is the most, that's the way I always try to thread my overlocker back in the day. All you need to do is before you get to the needle, cut the thread off and then th thread your needle. Because sometimes you try and pull a, a knot through the needle. If you made a knot quite big, it'll go through all the rest of it, but it might not go through the needle, that's all. Um, the threads, I've got the black and the white <coughs> here. You're gonna need four of these. You will need four of these. But how much, oh, there's meters and meters on it. Is it a thousand meters? 5,000, 5,000. 5,000 meters. No one can, oh, uh, look at the price though. You get 5,000 metres for 3.99. You do need four of them. How long's that going to last you? You oh, oh, so <laughs> shocked every time you hear. Trust me, these are our prices. You've got to get used to it. We yeah. do everything really affordable. Well, no, 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 exactly. Exactly. It, how believe. brilliant is that? It's 100% polyester as well. So really good if you're doing stretch fabrics because the polyester's got a little bit of give in it. Right, my little tip here is don't keep changing the colour, unless it's going to be seen, you can get away with four black ones and four white ones and do yeah. everything with your black or your white. Very seldom. It's only if you're, you're doing the inside of a skirt something that's going to be seen or whatever, do you need to do it in the colour? But most of the time, you can get with black or white. Get four black, four black ones, four white ones, and then you're done for however long, because there's 5,000 metres on them. Yeah. Anyway. You're not going to need another one of them for a while. No, um, exactly. Look how, to your point though, look at how much quicker it was to make my face mask, right? So if I'm just, I'm, I've been waiting, don't worry, I haven't done anything that you've missed. But by overlocking those edges, I hadn't really thought about that, John. Yes, of course, they're going through the washing machine. I mean, some of you will be putting your same mask through every night. Yes, so, yes. so much stronger. And then all you do, you see, is you turn it inside out. If you want to put little filters in or whatever, you, you absolutely can turn that back inside out and then there's your uh, little loops on there oh look i've somehow managed to get me loop right the way up here john well it's a unique one it's good because i was making this one for you <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a, you've got a unique piece of uh, erroneous elastic there up the top john right. but can you see there these are the ones that you're going to be able to do well, you've got, I'm going to have to take it on and wash it now, though, John. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't um, want that one now. And can you see, so they're going to shape around the bottom of your mouth. Oh, cranky. Here we go. I've, it's because I've got it's me, I've, a big if, I just, if I take our producer, Laura, out of my ear, I've got no idea what I'm doing next, but I'll be able to wear my face mask. There you go. See, I can't talk because I don't know what I'm doing next. Oh, we've lost an earring now. Oh, that's well, right, John. because I can, I can tell you what oh. we're doing next because it's not you doing the next demonstration. Oh. Are we moving on to these now then, Laura? Liz is coming back up next so Sarah can get herself all composed again now. So now, have you seen these? Have you seen these? They're brilliant. They're four. What the, we call them... Um, oh, my... I hate getting old. I'm going to have to have my eyes done. I have to go to that man that zaps your eyes. They're called quilting pattern guides, right? They're literally, you've got arcs, you've got chevrons, and you've got scallops. Right, now hang on. Isn't that a fish scallop, that one spelling? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You've got scallops, you've got uh, chevrons, and you've got your curves, right? And you're thinking, well, what are they used for? Well, it's basically... You can do your quilting patterns with them. You can do amazing quilting patterns with them. Before you buy them, though, if you haven't already got these, you do need to buy. Uh, can I just say, look at the price. $34.99. You get all three. It's not just one. You get all three of those for $34.99. $19.99 each is what they are normally. Right, right. You do have to buy a foot to go with it, right, to use those rulers with. Now... I know what you're thinking. You know how much some people charge their foots. When I was prepping the show last week with Sunday, she went, how much would you pay for a foot? And I said how much I thought they'd be. 19.99. The only thing you need to know is whether your machine is low shank 
or high shank. Now we have got a thing on our website. If you don't already know, or it doesn't say in your um, catalog, not your uh, instructions manual for your sewing machine, it, you can look up on the website to see whether yours is, most people's are, well, I'm not gonna say most people's are, but you just need to work out whether you're a low shank or a high shank, and you need to buy the foot that's appropriate to your machine. So now, have we got Lizzie standing by then? Lizzie's gonna give us a quick demo of how, she's been, have you been drinking coffee while we've not been here, Lizzie? Yes, I have. Enough. I didn't put anything else in it. It was literally just coffee, but I'm a bit oh. high now. Bit, you know, oh, are you? Skitty. Bit singy. So, <laughs> so what are these? What are these, Lizzie? Show us about how they work. Okay, so quilting pattern guides. Incredibly easy to use. Listen, if you've never done quilting before through a guide of some sort, they're called rulers by every any other name. Um, all you're doing is putting your ruler foot, which John just explained about, in the hole, and you're literally following your ruler, your ruler foot through that groove. And you've got all these different sizes to choose from. Now, they look really simple, but the sort of designs you can do with these are extraordinary. When you look at this, the scallop, scallop, whatever you want to call it, the squiggly <laughs> one, you can follow the line like this and repeat it. So on a border, it's excellent, but you can flip it as well. I mean, you're not going to flip it like that, but you're going to move it around. So if your ruler foot is stuck in this hole here and you're going to machine down there, you can actually flip it so you can do the other side. And then, of course, you could do the smaller size. So there's huge amounts of inspiration using these and they are incredibly easy. I'm going to show you um, which one shall I use. Let me use the chevron. It makes a difference. It really makes a difference. Now, all I've got prepared, oh, quilting gloves, they look rather grand and they look like only the professionals wear them. But of course, none of us are true professionals. We're all learners. We all started somewhere, but quilters gloves are really an asset because they've got like little silicon tips on them and they help you grab things so and it helps you move the ruler about let's put it that way now one thing we want to point out is that the rulers here the quilting guys here are they've got a, like a non-slip coating on them so when you put them on your fabric they grip you can see how that how they're grippy you can also we've got a product called um a spray and stay and that also helps extra grip if you're not too sure about it so that's just a by the by so you're going to install your ruler foot it's just the same as changing it to a zipper foot to a, a quilting foot whatever you're going to use embroidery foot just the same except when you put your foot down and it's not easy for you to see i know is that there's a little gap. If you've ever used an embroidery foot before, you know that when you put an embroidery foot on, there's a little gap, which allows you to do free motion work and allows you to move your fabric. The, the ruler foot is exactly the same. So don't expect it to sit flat onto your, your table. Oh, I've just switched my machine off. Let's try that again. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, so you're going to put your foot down. Like I say, it's not going to go flat on the bed of your machine. You've got a little bit of leeway because it technically speaking, it's free motion. OK, don't be frightened by that. Do not be frightened by that. So if you've got uh, feed dogs that you can lower, excellent. On the pro, we've got the little switch at the back. Um, if you don't and you think, oh, I can't do that because I haven't got I can't drop my feet. All I want you to do is to set your stitch length to zero. Not easy to say. So set your stitch length to zero. And that means that it gives you the, the feed dogs don't move as much, which allows you that freedom. And I remember doing a whole show once with my feed dogs up. So it really doesn't matter too much. So. What I've got here is my my uh, quilting guide. It doesn't matter which way around you use it. Make it so, I know it's difficult for you to see, guys. I'm just going to try and find a piece of fabric to put under that. Let's just get a, I just happen to have a random piece of Japanese fabric here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know if you'll see that, but there we go. That's yeah, there you go. I, I'm going to use the calico because it's prepped for it. But you can see the grooves on there. Now you're not going to be able to see me put my ruler foot into the guide, but I promise you that's what I'm going to do. And it's so easy. I really, really want you to try this. And when you do, I'm going to show you something now. This is a quilt I made a gazillion years ago, probably last year. And each one of these squares, these blocks, let's say, has been quilted using our quilting pattern guides and then they are stitched together. It's like a quilt as you go technique. So a 12 and a half inch block has been quilted using our pattern guides so that makes it really accessible if you do them all in the 12 and a half inch block, something like that. So let's stop chatting, get on with it. Yeah, so get I'm on with it. My... What? Get on with it. <laughs> all right, love. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till I come up there, love. I'll yeah, I can't you. wait. Right. Uh, <laughs> so I've put my foot down there and it's going to be easier for you to see from the front. Now with true um, free motion quilting, all you're going to do is bring your bottom thread up um, because you don't want a bird's nest underneath, okay, because you're quilting through all those layers. And the great thing about our ruler foot is that actually it's got a little groove in it and you can tuck your, your threads away. But I always just do a couple of little stitches just to hold it in place, just to kind of lock it. That's it. There we go. And all you're going to do is move the fabric and move the guide. I mean, it can't get any easier than that. And you're just going, and you're determining the stitch length, okay? You're deciding. So you could do it really, if I do this fast and move fast, I'm gonna have a longer stitch. If you move your fabric fast and you don't stitch so fast, you're gonna get a shorter stitch. And you'll soon find out what suits you. You really will. But you're not to be frightened by any of it. I'm just gonna get my, Stitches out of the way, my threads. That's it. And you're literally, it's a bit like a train going on a train track. And that's all you're doing. So you're just following it along. You're pushing it. You're pushing your fabric and your guide away from you. I mean, I can turn this around. I can, let's move it. So let's just make some, some sort of abstract pattern here. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going for it. I'm, I'm never moving. I'm never lifting my foot. I'm always leaving that down. And that's then always in the groove. So there's no chance of me destroying or breaking a needle or anything like that. So fairly, fairly speedy, fairly speedy. And I'm pushing my fabric and my guide you know, sort of, I can't even say what speed, but I'm just taking my time. And all you're going to do is work around those grooves. And if you break a needle, it's because you haven't moved your fabric quick enough or you've moved it too quick, I should say. So let's just move that around again. And if, if like that, I'm, I'm got too much here, just push that around. Just keep that in the groove there and then move the whole thing around. So I'm just kind of going for it here. And again, you're just following the groove. Nothing difficult about this, nothing. So, so Lizzie, so you're what you're saying up. is, if yes. you made yourself a, just a practice block, did a, sound, a quilt sandwich just with two calicos, and you can just practice and practice and practice. Don't go straight in and do a quilt first time have a good practice round make yourself a, like a big 14 inch block and just practice and spin and do exactly what you're doing so totally. that you get the feel of it don't go straight on with your your brand new drunkard's pathway and then ruin it sort of thing just have a really nice time practicing listen i would never do that i would never do that um always a bit like um i listened to somebody the other day and they said the best thing to do before you start sewing anything is to do some scrappy patchwork to put some scrappy pieces together to uh, and don't think about it too much just tiny little pieces just stitch them together and get the feel of your machine and get relaxed with it get those shoulders down yeah. so the same applies with this do what I've done. I've got a scrappy piece of calico. Trust me, it's, it's scrappy. Um, a scrappy piece of, uh, yeah, a bit of waste um, wadding. 80-20. I always use 80-20. Um, and then just get relaxed with it. There's no way I would have made that quilt there without 
half an hour. Now, look, I've just moved the fabric around just to show you how easy it is. But actually, that sort of design you could do all the way along your quilt. Or you could do the whole square like that and then just repeat it on the next square, the next square, the next square. It's down to you. You're the you're the designer, you're the technician, um, but I just want you to know how easy they are. And when you start looking, I just want to show you that, uh, the uh, chevron again, because although I just kept that line there, again, if you've got the uh, foot in there, you can just swivel that around and then you could do the other side to make a diamond. And you could do diamonds all the way around, making them smaller, make them bigger, whatever oh, wow. suitable. Sorry, John, where are you going to I, say I, I, something? I was, like, I, was, I was just wowing, saying how fantastic it is. It's just, it's because it's something, it's so easy. It's such an easy idea, do you know what I mean? And yet it yes. can make or break your quilt, you know what I mean? You could really get yes. a professional finish to your quilt, can't you, if you do that? Totally. And it's, it's no, nothing like this is anything to be frightened of. My, my motto is, jolly well try it. Okay. No, Jolly your motto well is have a little bit of tonic with my gin. That's what I've heard. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, but <laughs> but never never be frightened about things. This looks pretty technical. A special foot, special gloves, a special guide. But it it's not like that at all. It's just like having a pair of scissors or a cutting mat. It's just another tool. And when you start looking at these sort of shapes here, again, you've got that fabulous scallop scallop. But also you could then turn it to complete that look and then you could do like a bit of um, mirror quilting. What's it called? Um, is it mirror? Not mirror quilting. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Shadow quilting. Thank you. In my head. <laughs> um, but then you've got this, this uh, half circle as well. So all of those can be incorporated. And this one. OK. This has got to be the best one ever. And now you might say, oh, but it's only a half a circle is why I get excited. But um, for my youngest grandson, who's four and a half, well, no, he's nearly five. When he was first born, I made him a quilt just of squares. Why not? Just of squares. But what I did do was actually use a, a quilting guide like this to do bubble quilting. So oh, wow. I used all the different sizes to do bubbles all the way up his square quilt. Absolutely amazing. And you can do it with this. Oh, brilliant. Thanks ever so much for that, Lizzie. We can let you go now and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks ever so much. Thank and you. I really, really, really look forward to seeing you soon here at yeah, the desk me next too. to me. Take care, take care. Oh, I'll wave with Bye. my gloves. Look, I've got my quilting gloves on. Now, the reason I tried them on, yeah, go to these first, because I've got really weird fat hands, right? And I thought, oh, they won't fit me. They won't fit me. One size fits all. They actually do fit me. And you want them nice, you want them snugly fitting. You don't want them too big and, and to move around. These are fantastic because they're going to um, adapt to the side of your face. And what I love about these is I've seen quilting gloves before that have little like nodules of like silicon on them, right? Which come off, right? These, what it is, I don't know if you can see, right? The tops of the fingers, the whole lot is this. So there's nothing to come off. There's nothing to slide off. And, and if they're, oh, can I put them down like that? Can you see if, oh, there you go. There you go. You see what I mean? So the tops, the whole top of the finger is done with the silicon. So they're not going to slide anywhere at all. And you can wash them and you can wash them as well. Right, let me take those off. Now let's do the guides then. I've made such a mess over here today. Uh, we'll do the guides first of all. I've got all three, these, right? You get all three. All three of those. So Lizzie's just showing you how to do all the, what a brilliant buy. What a fantastic buy. So you get the scallops, you get the chevrons, and you get the circles. I know, all three of those for £34.99. And your only other purchase you're going to need is, if you might, you might already have one of these, um, is the, the foot, right? Low shank or high shank. You need to find out which one they are. £19.99. You only need one. And once you've got one, that will fit all of our Gemini um, guides. It'll fit all of them. So you only buy this once. You don't need to buy this every time you buy a ruler. You just buy it once. So it's only a £20 down payment. That's it sort of thing. And you just use that all the time. And as Lizzie says, put it on like a normal foot on your machine. Okay. So now, oh, what are we going on to now then, Sarah? 
Oh, well, I've got the bag making dies oh, okay. now, yeah. John. So, yeah, she's so gone off kilter again. Fan, I've, 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 yeah, well, you've got a bit of everything. Uh, I'm a big fan of the bag making. Now, if you've invested in the Gemini, which I've just heard how many of you again today have gone for your Gemini for the first time, once you've made the investment in John's purple Gemini, might I just tell you they're only available in John's shore. And they're limited. Limited they're limited, edition. They? They're limited. Yes. Right, can I just also just say, this is the caddy that you get with it, right? But yours will be purple. Yours will be purple, right? So this is what happens. See, see this, right? I'll have to hold it down there for you to see. Look, look, right? So that goes on the side of your machine. And then you see, you see there are holes here that the feet of your Gemini go into those. So it's not going anywhere. It's nice and stable. You will get a purple one to match your purple machine. I know, it's fantastic, isn't it? If you've not used your John 20 or your first purchase with Club Inspire, now is the time to do it because this is such a brilliant buy. And okay. I just want you to understand that, that the data's on the bottom of your screen, that, so 299 down to the 209, that is before the 20% that John's talking about. So you're getting a £300 bundle for that 209.96 with your extra discount on top of that. It's a good day, really, isn't it? Oh, it's more than good. Right. Brilliant. I'm just tidying up over here. You, you, you tidy up. I'll show them, John. Yeah. Right. I've got three different bag making dies. However, you get all three for half price. Right? Now, these are how they come. They're really big die sets. You're going to get all three of these and they make three different types of bags. So I've actually got the bags here. Do you want me to show you them, John? Yes, right? please. So this, this is your bowling bag. Here is my bowling bag, first of all. So this is the die set that you get. I thought you said boring. No. Here's your boring bag. And I said, like, oh, that's a nice way to it's say our, It's our lovely accent. Bowling. Your bowling. Your bowling bag. Your bowling bag. I can, I can pep my Queen's English voice on. <laughs> uh, if you've got, go for any of that hardware. We've obviously got all the hardware on the show today because yes. of the, um, the fact that we're doing loads of bag making. So can you see, there is that adjustable ring that Lizzie was telling you about. So we have those in all the different colours. Then you have the ring which holds it together at the side, right? And then obviously you can also so go for the connector you've got the d rings as well on here but i've gone for the square ones i haven't made this bag so whoever made this bag has gone for the square ones so that is but we had the square, the square rings were part of the deal as well yeah, they're, so all they're all, they're so all in there mix and match on all yeah. of them so that is the that is the bowling bag bowling bag <laughs> uh, and it's got that lovely curve i know i just feel like i can't say it now at all uh, it's got that lovely curve around the top we've just stuffed ours full so it looks a little bit nicer on screen that's the bowling one yeah now, this one here is called the carpet bag. Right. So this is the die set that is going to do your carpet bag and it's got that lovely curve on the base, right? This is the actual bag that's on the packaging. So can you see it? This is it here. It's going to do this shaping around the bottom. Fabulous with your four leathers or your corks. I'm going to use cork for mine. Uh, and then also it's got the zip piece, the zip panel to go in the top as well. So that is your... A carpet bag, which I can pronounce very easily, even in my lovely northern accent, right? So that's the carpet one, and it's not a choice of. That $39.99 is not a choice of. It's all three of them for that price, right? Then, your third one is the one that I'm going to be using, John. Yeah. this one here. It's called the crossover bag. Now, it's called a crossover bag, and I've made a few of these uh, over the last few weeks. I really like these ones. So it's, it's just a standard kind of cross over your body. You've got two choices of how you make it. I'm going to make it today with the gusset in. So you can do it with the base gusset. And you can see this is the shape for the bag. Or this is the gusset if you want to do the gusset. Or if you do it without the gusset, these, here it is in the cork. And then again, there's those lovely, these are the D-rings now on this side. So there's your cork one with some just nice simple lining in there as well. Makes a nice little mini handbag. So can you see it looks completely different because we haven't done it with the gusset. So it's obviously the seam allowance is then built into the front. So how I love it, I quite like them. Uh, the simple ones without the gusset in, John, especially in that cork. Now you've got the cork. I've got the cork. Yes, I'm going to use the green one. Okay, I just have to tell you, I've just seen this message here from uh, Karen. It says, uh, oh, I'm so happy I've got my Tula Pink fabric. I love Sarah's demo. She just gets on with it. <laughs> <laughs> she does get on a lot, yes. <laughs> oh, that's Karen in Camden that is oh um, thank you Karen. loads of people saying how much they're loving your demonstrations by the way right let me talk about the cork then first though so you get all three of these 
This is beautiful. I'm going to tell, oh, actually you'll see it out there. You get the green one, the blue one, the brown one. They've got posh names. They've got like forest chocolate and something else, aren't they? But anyway, you get all of these, you get all of those. <coughs> 22.48, 22.48, yeah, still, I've got to learn these braces, haven't I? Because they're not quite right, are they? You'd pay 22.48 for one of those, wouldn't you, normally? But anyway, 22.48, you get all three, and it's like a big, fat quarter. I will get one out to show you, right? It's like a great, big, fat quarter of fabric that you get. Look, now it's backed on cotton. It's backed on cotton. Look, isn't it lovely? It's got that gold shimmy in it there as well. So you get the green one, the blue one, the brown one, right? I shall let Sarah carry on. Right, and one of those is enough to make the bag that I'm about to make, okay? Now, I did do a little bit of prep work over the weekend for this, so I've got one part done in stages, but let me show you it right from the very beginning. First of all, you see these dies. Remember what I told you, John, about the Gemini? Yeah. You cut through multiple layers. Oh, so even these, with cork? Or even with the cork. Oh, wow. So with these, what you do is, you can see I've folded mine in half. So that is your cork, and you set about having that lovely cotton back. So it's actually quite easy to stitch. And bear in mind, I did all my prep work on my very basic uh, L100 machine. I don't have this fancy computerised one at home. So all you're doing is you're folding this in half. Make sure it's cut uh, big enough. And then what you're going to do is you must make sure your die lines up to the edge of the fabric so it'll cut out that shape. Let me show you that when we come to Oh, so it's on it. the fold. You're not cutting. Yes. There's no cutting down that side then. No. It's literally cutting it's on the fold. It's going to stay open at this part here. So I always like to have, here we go, I've got it here. Remember what I told you about you're going to take your die you're going to have it just to the end of the fabric here and then you're going to stick the die to the fabric to the metal plate and actually just to be on the safe side I might do it at the top and the bottom there so I'm just sticking through the die right. and then you're going to go with your clear cutting plate you're going to go with your top cutting plate and you send it through now actually I've just realized I could have cut it's the Gemini is powerful enough that it will cut through all four layers of the cork at once oh um, so you could, could, you could cut, cut both, both of them at the same time I've just, for accuracy though, for the sake of 16 more seconds, I yeah. think it's worth getting it perfectly positioned in place, stuck down, then do the second one. Now, what I oh, that crack is, oh, I've got my pointy finger out. Yeah. Um, that crack is perfectly normal because what it is is, we've come off the edge all in one go, right? So that has now given me the perfect size. That is exactly right for the bag. Just imagine if you'd have to cut the pattern out, draw around the pattern, cut by that with scissors. What a faff on, right? However, doing it with the dies takes a fraction of the time. So I'll do the same here this time. Let me give you my little tip this time though, right? Yeah. So instead of sticking it, as I did, like, like uh, here we go, like this, put it slightly on an angle, right? And what happens then is it won't all come out of the machine at one point, which will avoid you having that cracking noise. Now, let me just assure you, does not damage your machine in any way, shape or form. Bear in mind, you're asking the machine to cut through two layers of cork. Now, other machines that are designed to cut through this, this much kind of material at once uh, cost an absolute fortune. Mm. I know I've been looking at them for years, John, thinking, do people actually pay that much to cut it? But I suppose it is worth it to be able to cut the fabric my dad's the engineer who worked on the gemini and we basically engineered a machine with the most amount of pressure possible but then see we didn't get that crack at yes, the end this time because we'd slightly tilted it right but then we've got to remember we sell the machine well at the most rock bottom price we can because actually we're not a machine company so we're not looking to make profit out of you if i'm just putting my business head on here <laughs> by selling you machines no, we're a dye company. We keep inventing more and more of these. So I want everybody to be able to afford to have a machine so that then you'll keep coming back and buying more and more of our dyes. And whether it's the bag dyes or the quilting dyes or the dyes are literally making your life so much easier. So here we go. There is my, I'm going to keep those bits. They, uh, they would make really nice tassels. Uh, we've got some lovely dyes that'll just cut out like uh, keyring shapes on your tassels. Perfect. So uh, what you've got is you've got those two edge pieces now what you can do, but I've already got mine ready, is you can use this part here to cut the correct width of your gusset. Now because I only took one of the um, cork fabrics home, I had to stitch mine together in the middle. So right. I want to have mine stitched. But what you're going to do is we're going to stitch the, uh, and I might as well start right in the centre here. I'm not going to pin it, I'm going to use those quilting clips. 
She's oh yeah, I wouldn't pin cork either because it's, nope. you're going to see it, I think, aren't you? Yep. If you um, put a pin hole through it, I think you might see it. And I'm just going to go right sides together, pin this, and I'm going to pin to the corners uh, and then do a little bit of sewing. As you learned firsthand last week, John, uh, I don't do an awful lot of uh, sewing and talking at the same time. No, okay. So uh, you'll have to do all of that bit for No, me. that's fine. I just want you to take, so you're, you're just literally clipping it to that one side you're only going to do one side i'm just going to do one side to start with right so we've got the right sides together I, in fact i'll do that side i think i'm going to go straight and then do the two edges right. uh, and then i'll come and stitch the other side on and you can kind of follow me as i'm going all right but don't okay uh, but i'll talk, talk about much. i'll talk about the dyes because we, we, we kind of uh, just skimmed over them didn't we'll we tag team it so yeah exactly <laughs> so you've got your bowling bag die now if you look here well, that's how you see it <laughs> it's how you like <laughs> no. it's your company you can do what you want uh, so you get all the pieces that you need now when i first saw these in the shop when i went to visit catherine in the eversham shop and i was like you can't make a bag out of that it literally is all the pattern pieces and it cuts everything now as sarah was saying if you cut normally you'd put your pattern down you'd sometimes some patterns don't have seam allowance added onto you then have to say then you cut it out there's nothing to say that you're going to get both of them exactly the same. Because you're going to cut them out separately, aren't they? Using the Gemini, you're going to get two absolutely identical. What I would say, though, is if you're going to do cut them out separately like that, if you do both of them on the angle or do both of them straight, because if the cork has got a little grain to it, not it hasn't got a grain as in you have to worry about which way it goes, but if you've got one with the gold going slightly across, do them both exactly the same. But anyway, so there's the bowling bag. You get all three of these for 39.99. I know, half price, half price, half price, half price. Then you get this one here, which is the, uh, uh, not the carpet. Yeah, that's the carpet bag, carpet bag, carpet bag. And then you also get, the crossover bag so all the pieces that you need are all in there they're all fantastically kept like that now what i would do i think i would kind of just get one box from one of the others and store all of these together like this in one box and you've got all your bag making dice so you've got four pieces on that one you've got three pieces on that one and you've got three pieces on that to make a bag who'd have thought it who'd have thought it and the cork that sarah is using this is gorgeous now i did have this because you know, while we've been in lockdown, I've been doing a, a, a Tuesday morning Facebook Live with something from Crafters Companion. I can't tell you how popular this was. Absolutely flew out the door. I know, I know, I know, I know. You get all three, you get all three, four, 22 pounds and 48 pence. It's because I've got a little telly, you see, my eyes are going a bit like that now, I'm old, now I'm 40. Um, 22 pounds and 48 pence. I know, and I know I keep going on about it, but this, right? You can only buy this on my shows now, or obviously for the website, but only my show that it's seen on. Let me turn it around to that camera. So this is the one that's there, 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 right? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, right? 209.96, right? 209.96. Now, if you, you, if you use, you get the, the caddy, the caddy comes with it. The caddy comes with it, right? And the patchwork dies come with it as well. I mean, it's just an incredible, incredible buy. And it's the purple one you'll be getting. You've seen Sarah using the white one this morning. You'll be getting the limited. There it is, look. You get the three dies, the diamond, the triangle, and the hexes. You get all that for free. And if you've not bought anything from us before, you can use your Club Inspire introductory 20% off. Or, I don't know how, oh, I know. It lasts till the end of the month, doesn't it? The uh, John, the John 20. Oh, that's a mistake last till the end of July, but don't tell anyone, right? Um, put John 20 in, John 20 in, and you'll get 20% off. Obviously not, you won't get both of them, you get one or the other, but we just thought, you know, it's like when you see those adverts on the telly, isn't it? They go, for new customers, you get this insurance for such and such. You think, actually, I've been with you for 15 years, where's my, well, we don't do that here. We let, make it fair for everybody. We make it fair for, um, so anyway, 2099, it's UK exclusive, that, obviously. Are you all right over there? I am. So I've stitched one side on, John, and I know everyone keeps um, they keep kind of dipping back into me, so you can see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm getting uh, I'm getting most of the bag done here. But can you just the the cork stitches an absolute dream. Honestly, it is delightful to work with. Yes, because a lot of people will be frightened, thinking, "Oh, I can't do cork. I can't that sew would with cork. Be me. It'd be too thick." It's a veneer of cork on cotton. So the fact that it's backed on cotton gives it the strength. 
it gives it stability, but it also gives it that flow so you can go through the sewing machine with it. I would, I would use a, like a 14 or a 16 needle with it. I don't go and put your 10s or your 12s through because obviously it's a sturdy bag making needle. So a, four, a 14 or a 16 needle to go through it. Um, but you don't need anything more than that. At normal thread, you can use your normal polyester thread. Uh, it's not an issue whatsoever. I mean, it is just so, such a brilliant, brilliant fabric to sew with. Well, and also when you come to put your um, bag furniture on it as well, um, it, it's so malleable. You know, when you make a strap, sometimes when you make a strap and you put it through a D-ring or through one of the rectangular uh, kind of uh, links and everything, you fold it back and it's, um, it's all really, really bulky. Well, or if you're making a strap where you want to fold the end over and over, if you like doing a tote bag or something, it's really, really pliable and malleable. So it's not that great big clunky what you think it was going to be like. It's a really, really... And also, ask the people who've bought it. I'm sure we've got some fantastic reviews because I know... So many people bought this from me when I did it on a Tuesday morning on my Facebook Live. So, um, and, and also, for a little afternoon project, sometimes, I know when, like, a lot of my ladies like to make big quilts, and sometimes it can take me years, sometimes it takes six months. Sometimes we like a project that we can just get up in the morning and think, oh, I want to make something today. These handbags, you can make these in an afternoon. Well, you're going to see Sarah yeah. make it in an hour, less than an hour. <clears throat> but, 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 it's a nice project, excuse me. <clears throat> and they're a nice little project, especially if you use your Gemini to cut it out. And if you've got your Gemini set up in your workroom already, just set there. All you do is plug it in, switch it on, and it'd be fantastic. Are you ready to go on to the next stage? I oh, am wow, ready that, to go. Oh, that looks fantastic. Now, I'm just going to be really honest here, John, right? If you were doing this with a bag pattern, you wouldn't have got the pattern cut out by now. No. You wouldn't have got the pattern cut out and laid out in your cork and then pinned to pieces. We did the, I've done the cutting and the, all of the stitching and I've done it in the time that you wouldn't have even cut the fabric. Yeah. So there's the outer part of the bag. Now I'm going to go and do the, the zip, right? So I've got my actual zip ready. Now, and did I've you get your zip? Is it from zip on a roll or is yes. it from our stock? Yes, yeah. you can do your zips on a roll. Zips on a roll are on the website. They are fantastic. Right. Absolutely brilliant. And all you're going to do is I'm going to just obviously sandwich that. I, I did use a little bit of fabric from the Mystery Fabric Bundle because yeah. obviously I didn't know that that was going to sell out at, uh, uh, as, as quickly as it did. So uh, you're just going to, you're going to, you're going to use whatever lining fabric you want. Well, you have that much fabric in a stash anyway, don't you? But sure none you of our sewing loads. ladies have ever not got any fabric. They've always got a stash of fabric. I definitely wasn't expecting that to, uh, to be selling out by the time we got to this, uh, to this time. That's definitely not the case. Right, I'm going to switch and put my, um, oh, what do you call it? I'm going to switch and put my zipper foot on. Right. So, and this, like I said, this is our computerised machine. However, at home, I do not have as fancy machine as this, and it's still sawed through my uh, cork, absolutely no problem. So it just shows you, you don't, if Cathy's watching, my other mum at the school gate that I was, uh, that I was, I was getting her talked into a brand new beginner type machine, uh, that beginner sewing machine that we have on the website, or even any of my other papercraft ladies, I bet we've got loads of my papercraft ladies watching today, John. Yeah. Uh, and I think if anybody's wanting to get started, oh, let's have a look. We've just gone. Yes, I know. I was, I was pushing me luck there. I've caught my little zipper just. Oh, you've not put your zip head down. Yeah, no, it's all right. It's me. It's me own fault. We down to there. Well, it's because you're talking and I'm disturbing you. That's well, this, this is the problem. I want. I kind of want to show you everything, but then also, and come on, I'll get you just pulled around there. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to show you everything, but then I'm conscious of the fact that this is just one of my demonstrations. I've got. I was going to say you've got loads. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes, I've got. We've only got 40 minutes left in the show. What I can do though is let me just show you. We've can I just ask you zip. what are you sandwiching the zip in between? A, a cork and the lining. Cork and the lining, yeah. right? Yeah. So there oh, yeah, is my that, yeah. there's my zip. So there's going to be my cork for the top. Yeah. And then you'll see we've got the lining nicely there underneath. Brilliant. Now, if I just fast forward a little bit, what I've done is I've got the one of these at home. I've stitched that I did at home. I've stitched my <laughs> zip on both sides and then what I've done is I've popped this inside and I've sewn the zip the, the cork fabrics together so if I just pull it out here we go right so what I've got ready is I've got there's my can you see I've done one side of the, the zip at one end with the cork fabric one side with the lining fabric and I've just stitched it down the edge now I've also got let me just show you we're talking about doing the handle John yeah here is the handle as you're going to do it so I took the little bit that was left over bear in mind I've done this whole bag from one of those pieces of cork mm. the whole bag from from one of those you just cut yourself a, stri a strip and you've actually got the strip cutter included in each one of the bags 
folded quarter of an inch over, pressed it, folded it in half and then pressed it and then watch what I'm going to do, even going, let's have a look, we don't want our zipper foot on anymore, I'll just pop the normal foot back on here and I'm even going to be able to sew through both of these sides. Now again, I've got one that I've already done but just to show you how well this cork stitches through, going there, so let's have a look, I'll get it started off and I find it easier once you've got it started to be able to feed this through just got my threads caught at the back there there we go feed this through and then be able to kind of um pull it along as we're going there we go so it's it's stitching through that four layers of cork absolutely no problem and if you can see there if I show you on the nice close-up camera I'll show you on the overhead actually. You can see that it's stitching through that multiple layers of cork, no problem. So I want you to stitch all the way down. And then what you do is you're going to put it into your bag. It's going to go inside your bag. I've actually already got mine in here. So if I lift mine out, can you see there? Right? So it yeah. goes, I haven't stitched the sides in. It's going into my bag. Just pop it all in and then just poke it through there and hold it in place with a quilting clip. Now I'm saying hold in place, I think I'm just going to stitch along my two edges, John, because uh, I don't trust myself to do it all when I put the lining in there and get it all in the right place. Right. So I'll just do my bit of stitching, which is code for you can go and talk again. Well, yeah, yeah, because uh, <laughs> Penn says, um, no, not Penn, Stephen says, Sarah, Sarah, this is why I keep buying off you. You think of the buyer time after time. I love you and your company. That's oh. from Stephen. Tony says, oh, I have to say, I wasn't going to watch today, but I'm really enjoying both Sarah and John together. Thank Thank you very much indeed. <clears throat> now I've got a question from Janet. Uh, I don't know if we, I, I don't know if we can answer it now, but we'll definitely get you an answer. If you've already got a quilting foot from another company, will it fit the Gemini plate? Yes, uh, a quilting foot. You know, you, I mean, as in the, the you know the, the the high shank and the low shank foot yes. that we had. Yes. Yes. If you've already got a high shank, you don't need to buy another one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you've got another brand of yep. that of that foot, you don't need to buy another. No, one. As long as I, I would as long watch as out. Foot. I would just say this is just from experience. I would watch out if you've got a Benina one because I know that Benina. I'm getting nods now. Uh, Benina ones are made for Benina rulers and they very seldom fit anything else. So do double check if it's a Benina one, but most other ones will be fine. Thank you. I, I, just, am, only, I, I mean, I could be talking machine. through the top of my head, but I know that Benina uh, quilting rulers you can't use with absolutely anything else at all. And then Sarah, or Sarah says, John, you look like Holly Johnson with those white gloves on. Oh, did I? I was thinking more <laughs> of Marcel Marceau myself, really. Right. <laughs> Right, what I'm going to tell you, you can do the lining in exactly the same way. So the double layer of the fabric, you're going to pop that on, you're going to whiz that through your machine and then you're going to stitch it together exactly as I did with the first one, right? So here we go, When I've just like you saw me stitch the outer part, if you've seen the stitch of the cork, Craig, it must be easy to see the lining piece. I've left my little pull through hole here, but we've gone all the way around the corner. Now here's what you're going to do, you're going to turn this inside out because what we need is right sides together so you're going to get the bag that we've opened up and this is going to go inside here John yeah and these quilting clips honestly they're absolutely essential I'm lining this up over the edges and just holding this in place with the quilting clips and you're going to go all the way around the outside so the two corners first of all here we go. And this is why I stitched my bag in, uh, my um, handle in first. I just don't trust myself to get it exactly perfectly right. And yeah. when I've got the rest of the bag this this good, I don't want to kind of, what is it you said? I don't want to botch it at the 11th hour. Oh, no, exactly. And apparently according to one person, it, uh, sorry, a lot of sewing is botching. <gasps> And my text, my text message went crazy. It, went, it was literally four or five minutes since the beginning of the show. And she said it. And then my phone was like, bing, bing, bing. How dare she say that? Um, so, yeah, so you're just, you're just clipping it around the outside, are you? Just then? clip, literally clipping it around yeah. the outside. Um, and I like to have plenty of these clips on because they're easy enough to take out as you're going along. Well, we're doing them as a bog off today anyway. So you're getting well, twice as many for your money anyway. And you can buy, you don't, you're not limited to only buying one of them. Crikey, for the sake of 4 99 you might as well get yourself a few yeah uh, right and i'm just going to go and stitch all the way around the outside there you're going to lose us because i'll go i'll go quiet while i'm concentrating oh okay then that's perfect. fine well i'll just recap the cork and the um and the uh dies then so we don't have to do that again at the end so while sarah's sewing that i'll just show you this you get all three of these if you've got your gemini 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 machine already you've got the bowling the carpet and the crossover bag 
all three of them for 39.99 once you've got them that's it They're, that's it you've got them for life really haven't you then 39.99 you'll get all three of those i know fantastic price isn't it so uh as i say you get the the, the bowling the crossover and the carpet all the, the dies you need to cut all the fabrics out and it's just a thing about precision isn't it and also you saw how easily it went through the cork <coughs> the cork earlier any fabric you're going to make these out of, whether you're going to make it out of the Tula, whether you're making it out of the Japanese fabric, they're all going to cut so precisely. And that's what's fantastic is you go through a fine, you can cut on a fine lawn or a heavy cork and it will still go through all of them. The cork is very, very, very popular. You get all three of these, all three of these, £22.48. pence. I know. Brilliant, aren't they? You get a big fat quarter. I'll show you again how much you get of each one. Nasara said she's made the whole of that bag out of just one of these. Look, ooh, ooh, ooh. there you go. That's what you get. Oh, I'll keep it there. There you go. That's what you get. And that's the pattern you get there. Now, you see what I mean about, you see it's got an a, a, a kind of gentle stripe in it. So if you're going to cut them slightly on the, on the skew so it doesn't make your machine go clunk, clunk, then do them both on the skew, then they'll match each other beautifully. I know. And also, uh, don't worry if your machine goes while you're sewing them. That's just the machine taking into account the fabric. Because you're only going, if you think you're going to be going through layers of this and layers of your lining as well. Sort of Mine's thing. dunk, 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 and at the moment. That is dunk, dunk. But, but just take your time. Just take mm -hmm. your time with it. Okay. Oh, now, have a look. Now, the Overlocker, the Lock Pro, is absolutely flying now. So, very quickly, there it is. £249 now. It is UK only, but you get 500 club points for free, for nothing. And you get that strip roll of fabric, £249.99. I know, I know, they are, that is just, if you think of how much an Overlocker would normally cost you, that is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price. Um, now, another thing that's absolutely flying out today is the Sunrise Special. Right, you get four magazines. I've opened all, we'll open this one this time because I've opened all of them. You get 16, 17, 18 and 19. You get inside, you get in this box. We'll open the Bargello one, see what's in that one now. Oh, oh. So not only do you get your magazine, which I'll get out first. Come on, John. Right, so you get your magazine with all of your lovely info. Oh, look. How beautiful. So it's full of... Um, inspiration ideas and everything like that look there's your bar yellow i'm oh, sorry it's catching the light there you go um and then what are your what are your bonus um two lades in this one oh a bag pattern a bag pattern fat quarter fabric and your stencils so now this is half price half price get all four of them all for the, oh i've got a few pictures show you that's now we love it when you send your pictures in uh, Karen in Staley Bridge. All right. Say the name again, sorry. Oh, Alan. Alan in Staley Bridge. That's nice. Oh, I like that. That's from one of the magazines. Very nice. I know a, a fencing, a, a, an Olympic fencing champion from Staley Bridge, but that's another story. £17.50 for those magazines. So that's, uh, that's from there. Right. Are you all right for us to come and have a look at you now? Oh, but I... You've timed that perfectly, John. I've literally just gone all the way around the edge and uh, and I'm ready to turn it through. Right, this is yeah. that moment where I think, Craig, yeah, I hope I was paying enough attention to what I was doing because we are live. We're all right? rooting for you. So here we go. So here is my um, here is my lining. And because it's cork, obviously, you want to make sure that you get it all through nice. I have left quite a big hole just to make sure I can. Oh, it's best to, though, isn't it, really? Yeah, there we go. So... Here is my about. Oh well, I can see. I can see a handle, so that's looking promising, right? <laughs> Just while you're not a vet, isn't it? <laughs> it's because I, st I still find the whole thing very, very novel. But I, see, I'm a, I'm a giver. I like to make things to give to other people. Yeah. So um, I, I do loads of bag making because I, I like to be able to like give it to my mom, my sister, or whatever. Oh. Um, I've sent quite a few out to some of our viewers that I've made on the shows as well, actually. Have you? Yes. Yes. You got Sarah Rich. And all there's always like a special little I've quite not quite done something right type thing in there but uh, right you're going to press the inside and then you're going to stitch that close but I can do that later yeah what you all you need to see is what the finished bag looks like when it all comes out there we go got my edges all, all out there and then my zip please tell me I did it right yes I did and then there is my bag and I tell you what 
that is not bad for doing that live on air as a relative bear in mind i i will be in the beginner category compared to a lot of the sources you've got watching the shorter day yeah and it just shows you especially my paper graph ladies watching if you've got a gemini give it a go and if you haven't you need to be getting a gemini today because whether it's this bag or whether you're doing the same one but without the um without the gusset in this is like an even easier version if you want to do the one without the gusset in or if you want to do the uh, the bowling bag bowling bag uh, you can do <laughs> she'll the never let me forget that one bowling now, bag I can't, I can't pronounce it right john it's like bows as well anytime we talk about making bo you know ribbons tying a bow tying a bow a bow now, a bow that's it uh, or the other one is that carpet bag wherever i put you carpet bag here you are down here right that's the carpet bag with the fancy edges and all of these are just as easy to make as the one you've seen me do it's just that we've taken all the faff out of it with all of the cutting and is that that one that you've got there, that bowling bag, is that made of PU? Is that yeah. the fake? And that's gone through your PU Gemini leather. as well? Yep. Gemini stitched through them all. So, so you just said something interesting then. Do your paper craft ladies use the Gemini machine as well then? Oh yes, so it's exactly the same Gemini machine that we sell for using in paper craft or sewing. We've just taken the, uh, we took the decision as a business to put the most amount of pressure into it that you can possibly get in a machine so that then whether you're cutting thin bits of paper or whether you're cutting eight layers of fabric to do your quilting it's no problem and are they, machine. are they different dyes then for paper and fabric yes so our fabric dyes are thicker to go through those eight layers of fabric however what you can do is cut through one layer of fabric with your paper craft dyes so a lot of my paper craft ladies use their paper craft dyes for doing a plique as well Oh. oh, now the cogs are whirring. Now the cogs are whirring. I didn't realise, you see, that there was yeah. a crossover. I thought, because normally paper crafting tools and sewing tools are complete, but you've crossed over the two different, uh -huh. which is brilliant. If, you, if, you, if you're a paper crafter, you think, oh, I wouldn't mind giving that fabric one a go. Then you've already got the main investment for it, haven't you? I think it's brilliant. About right, we're going to jump now to embroidery. And these are gorgeous. Sarah showed these at the beginning of the show, one of them at the beginning of the show. Now, these are special because it's a bog off, right? Oh, it doesn't say there. It doesn't say there, right? They no. are, though. But they are. We promise. You got it from the horse's mouth, as it were. Right, you can choose any two of these, right? Any two of these. Doesn't matter which one. But you get one, buy one, get one for free, right? So you've got this one here, which is Dream Big. You've got this one here. Oh, that's nice, which is Love. You've got this one here, which is Flutterby. You've got this one here, which is Sweet Dreams, are oh, made of this. And you've got True Love. Oh, they flamingos. Oh, aren't they lovely? Now, in the box, you get everything you need, even the hoop, right? So when it's finished, you can display it in that. You don't just sew it in that, you can display it in that. So you get your thread, you get your instructions, your stitch directory, and then, you get your piece of fabric, I won't open that one because we can see Sarah's, with your transfer already on it. Isn't that lovely? So they're 12 .99. Well, they're not really, are they? Because that's, that's for two. 12 is for two. Six fifty each. That's brilliant. That is a brilliant price. So are you actually doing some embroidery over there? Oh, Look yes. Look at a woman you know, of many talents. When lockdown first happened, I pulled a couple of these kits out of our warehouse and I dropped one through the door for my mother-in-law. Oh, yes. And she said, well, I don't know how to embroider. I said, come on, Val. It's hardly difficult. All you're going to do, in fact, have you got, could you just pass me one of them full kits over, John? I'll show you how they come. I'm doing a little bit already, but I'll get it as though, let's imagine you were Val. My mother-in-law, she'll be watching, you know, mine, John, so you'll have to give her a shout out. Val. Yeah, she watches all my shows. So, uh, oh, she's what, she's what? Well. She watches all my shows. Oh. Yeah. So let me just show you how they come. Oh, she's done this one, actually. Right. So they come, you get the hoop. Like you said, you get the material, you get all the embroidery floss, uh, embroidery thread. They call it floss in America. Yeah. Uh, and then when I open this up, you see, all you need to do is open this, then unscrew your hoop a little bit so it just loosens it off. And we're going to go, if I get the design, you're going to go around the top, and then this comes in from the underneath, you see, yeah. so that you're going to position that in the middle. Now, what I would do is I would do a little bit of this. So if we're going to work on this part first, I would do that bit. Eh, oh, so you're not putting it in its final position. You're just no, putting it in its so you can a get little to bit, a little bit to work on it. And then if I, if I pull that round there, 
once you get it to this stage just stretch it so just give it a nice bit of a pull through all the way around and you're just stretching that fabric the more taut the fabric is the easier it is to work with right. right once we've got it nice and stretched all the way then you're just going to tighten up that hoop and you are literally ready to go so within your set and so there's me hoop nice and tight so within here i've got the one that i've already worked on you're going to in fact i am going to open this and show you because it's really important she didn't know this she was really struggling to thread the uh, embroidery through but she was trying to thread all six layers oh so, you mean of the thread yes yeah. of the thread so if you take one of these threads for example let me get this off right they come and this one's already been opened that we've used let's get one of the uh, one of the colors that we haven't yet used okay so if i take a little bit of uh, here we go let's take a little bit off the edge right so if i take a little bit off the edge here and we find the end uh, yes there we go there's the end when i open this up now i'll get really up close can you see there are uh, six layers of threads all in there yeah so what you're going to do is uh, two is ideal three if you're really confident with threading your needle right. you're going to take just two of them thread the two into your needle and then your needle so he's the one that i've got my two threaded and again when you get the nice needle with across, it needle comes included oh, needles in your so everything so if you're brand new or better still john what if you were doing like what i was doing you could order this and have it sent directly to somebody else Oh, can you so, do that? Yep. You, so you can order it, put in a delivery, a different delivery address, and you could be getting somebody an embroidery kit for them to start. So if you know a friend who's maybe still isolating, well, yeah, there's a lot of people. Stuck there's on millions, own. aren't they still isolating? Yep. And look how easy it is to do this. All you're doing is following the pattern. You've got the instructions on here, right? So it comes with full instructions. You've got the picture. You've got more thread than what you're going to need to use. Right. And look, in the time we've been chatting, I've been sitting just doing that little heart. And I think it's a lovely way just to kind of wind down and relax. And now, are there different styles of stitch it, styles of stitches in there? Uh, you can do whatever stitches you want. You go on YouTube and have a little look. You'll see oh, all yeah, the different brilliant. Uh, but actually, all everything that I've done, all I've done is just the straightforward backward and forward stitch. Backward and forward so stitch. I've just that kept it's called, it. backward and forward stitch. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Satin stitch. It's, thank you. Thank you. That's right. In Sarah's but, world, but, we but, but the reason I was asking that is, look, uh, oh, I have to put it here. Does that, in each box, you get one of these, right, which is a stitch directory. Oh, hang on. Can you see that? Sorry. There you go. He's so good. So you've got all of your straight stitch, your back stitch, your lazy daisies, your chain stitch, your French knots. Then you've got all your bullion knots, your couching stitch, your splits, all the stitches you might want to try. They're all on there. So you could just do the straight forward and back, like Sarah said, or you could try being fancy and doing all the different knots and everything. You can take it as advanced as you want to get with it. Let's have a look. I'm just going around the heart now. Now, this is another one that I was doing with the kids. So actually, I don't want you to think, oh, it's only for older people or whatever. Embroidery is like one of the trendiest things to be doing. You've got to go on Instagram and have a look. All the cool kids these days yeah. are doing embroidery, all the young uns. Um, so it's, the designs are quite modern. You can be doing all sorts of different styles in the designs. Now, I'll be really honest. My six-year-old is a little bit little and we couldn't leave him unsupervised. I was going to say, don't leave them unsupervised no. with a sharp needle. But, um, but and, then, and then, of course, Charlie wanted to go. So the three-year-old wanted to go. So I had him sitting on my knee having a little go as well yeah. but they were so pleased our Oliver actually sat and did quite a bit of this so it just shows if you've got grandkids you think that might want to try this bear in mind I'm doing this in like a studio environment and we're absolutely roasting in here as well aren't we, yeah. John? <laughs> it's the hottest I've ever known it so uh, you don't have to go quite at the same speed and pace well, no, no, it's something at. you do to relax isn't it it's one of yes. those mindfulness it's all about saying it's all about mindfulness isn't it and, and putting yourself in the right space um, producer Laura bought one of these for her sister to do when she went into lockdown. She's still yet to do it, Laura's sister. <laughs> we shall be having words. But I think that a lot of people, you know, that I mean, they've, they've asked me to come in on loads of shows and chat about um, craft and why craft is so good for you. And it's all the, the winding down, the mindfulness. I did a, a big piece for the Charity Mind. Yeah. Um, and we did a craft along together. And what everything's all about is it's about having something for, to keep your fingers occupied and your mind going, but something that's not too challenging. Well, well, well also, exactly while you're doing this. it, and there's no stress involved. And while you're doing it, you don't think about that thing like we all we, lockdown's called all sorts of worries isn't it but not just lockdown but 
you, we all have worries, right? But if you sit and do this for a couple of hours in the evening, your mind isn't going to be thinking about, okay, it's not, it's not going to make it go away, but your mind's not going to be thinking. It gives your mind a, a break, gives it a yes. rest. Do you know what I mean? And that can't, can be nothing but good for you, really, can it? Well, it, for me, it stopped me sitting watching the news. I <clears> learned, I'd, I'd never done embroidery, and uh, it had been about 15 years since I'd done any crochet. And that's the two, two of the things that I've taken up during lockdown were doing embroidery pieces and uh, doing some crochet. And it's been very, very relaxed. I would just sit on an evening and we stopped having that. We would sit with the news on all night when lockdown first happened. Stopped us sitting with the news on yeah. and, uh, and it just got me wound down into something completely different. And yeah. it really, really helped me. Don't tell me you've got hubby doing embroidery as well. No, I definitely haven't. <laughs> so uh, he was quite happy to watch some Cricket Ashes series from oh, well, God go. knows how many years ago yeah. while I would sit uh, I would sit and embroider a crochet. But look at this, I've got quite a bit done in the time yeah. we've been chatting now, haven't And I? also, it's, it's your own thing. Like, you've got the lines there to do hearts, but you could then be, fill, if you wanted to, fill those big hearts in because you said you've got more thread than Way you need. Way more thread yeah. than what you're going to need. And also, a lot of people might already have some. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. So that's your embroidery kit. If you have a look on the website, you'll see all the designs that we have. They're all buy one, get one free. So please don't, don't think I'll only order one and I'll get two of that for free. You need to put two into your basket. Remember, it's not yours until you check it out either. Put two into your basket and then what it'll do is it will uh, will send you those two. So it means you can have different designs. Uh, I think there's six different ones. So you can go and get all six if you want and only pay for three of them. Now, how easy was that? And yeah. I've done quite a bit of that in the time we've been going. Right, I'll let you show them all of them, John. I'll pop this away okay. and get ready for me next demo. All right, well. but I was just thinking, you know, because then what you do is when you finish them, you pull the fabric back round the back, pull it tight in the back and hang them on the wall. And they look lovely, just kind of making a display. Down. We should have, when Sarah's finished hers, we'll have a display down the wall. Right, okay. So anyway, let me tell you about this then. So these are the different designs. So we've got True Love with the Flamingos. We have got Flutterby. That one's the heaviest. There must be more in that one than there is in other ones. That's lovely, that one. But look at all the, that gorgeous, uh, the flower detailing around the side there. Then we've got Love. And then we've got Big Dreams. And then the other one, which I sent over to Sarah, I can't remember what that one was called now. What was the one oh, I sent Oh, yeah, over? that was all in the Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher, yeah, the yes. Dreamcatcher one there. So you pay twelve ninety nine, and then you get the other one completely for free. You get two, so put two in your basket. One will go through as free, one go, will go through as twelve ninety nine. I know, how brilliant, a brilliant is that? Right, we've got to go, move on, we've only got 20 minutes left. Time, time nice. flies. It's builder block time. Now, this is where it gets incredibly busy. Now, I, we must have, I said, oh, everybody who wanted to build a block got one last week. So we added it onto the show today for anybody who saw the show last week, but maybe didn't get it. Oh, you maybe you missed last week's show. I can't believe how many people have gone for it this week, John. Now, I'll show you, again. I haven't got the double wedding ring. I don't know if you've got it at your end, but what we can do is show you the picture of it. Because for everyone who buys this today, so this is £99, right? But you buy this and you get the double wedding ring, which is the one that does all your curves. You can go back and watch the show last week and you'll see me do the double wedding ring. That comes in absolutely free. <gasps> now, what I do want to do is show you, I don't know if I have my nice big uh, quilt that shows you all the pieces. Oh, I wonder if we can find that nice um, Lizzie quilt that she did well so someone's going to go and have a look see if they can find it for me right if i open this up what you'll see is you've got all of your half square triangles quarter square triangles and your squares now i know you might think oh, i can cut my squares myself but it's everything's worked out for you so let me get out first of all the really critical thing which is your instruction booklet now don't think about it as instructions think about it as how to do all of these quilts and more. So here's a load of blocks that you can do. There are the 20 odd that are in, that are in the instruction booklet. These are all as extras on the website. But then we actually, like last week, we did a brand new one that we came up with, didn't we? Now, if you're doing just the ones in the booklet, let me pop that to one side. It'll show you here, as I open this up, you can see, and, and lots of people started quilting with this job and started with the four patch yep. and then did a nine patch and then a shoe flight and then built up gradually as they went on. You see Friendship Star Hourglass, your pinwheel, your card trick on there. Uh, you've got the Hunter Star, the tulips. We're getting quite advanced, we're advanced here in a lot of the different ones that we've got. So the book is massive. You've got loads in the book, but then also those extra, I think it's an extra 56 that are on the website. Now, do you want me to show you? We've got that quilt now, John. But, but 
we will be at it. You add to it all the time, don't you? Because we did one last oh, yeah. week with Bernie, Brilliant. like the wreath, the Christmas wreath. And that one's now on the website as well. So we're adding to them the whole time. And they're free. You don't pay for the ones on the website. Oh, no. Once, once you've got... The thing is, once you've got the die, you, you, you're basically set up. Now, here are... I'm going to hide behind this in a moment. All of those quilt... All of those blocks that I've shown you, he's all of those different designs made up. So can you see, it just shows you, even if you just did one of each and made it into a quilt, there's that lovely tulip. I do love the tulip. Where's my card? There, that's my favourite one. So if you want to do this one, I've done quite a few. I haven't made any quilts with them, John, but I made a load of cushion covers when <laughs> we first brought this out. I just, I just used to love putting the whole thing together. Now let's imagine we were going to make that. Oh, I know what we can use. I've got a bit of the uh, Japanese fabric left down here. Brilliant. So if you want to do this with your Japanese fabric, let's just pop that down there for a second. And let me show you here, right? Uh, oh, should I do it? Right. If I've got a little bit of the red one. I've got a little bit of that one left over, John, that do you need I am. Um, it's some all right. More here. I've, got, I've, I've got a few bits okay, here. Brilliant. Right? It's, uh, let's have a little look in the instructions. You get to, uh, here it is, card trick. Right. Card trick. So you can do this one as a 12 inch or a 6 inch. So if I want to do the 12 inch, let me show you. It tells you here that you can do oh, 12 four and a half inch half square triangles and 12 four and a half inch quarter square triangles. Now, as a quilting beginner, I thought these all looked the same. Right. I didn't realise the difference. And basically, it's not till I started doing this and I was like, oh, right, I can see why. Because I thought, well, why do you need both sizes? So here, what you do is I'll come on the top and you can see each one has got like a little map. So it was at four and a half inch. So this is my half square triangle set. You can see the four and a half inch ones down there. So I take this one out. And then I can shut this up. And then I open my quarter square triangle one. My four and a half inch is the one up here. So I take out my uh, four and a half inch quarter square triangle. And I basically need 12 of each. But can you see there's three colours in this pattern? So it's going to show me how to piece the whole thing together. And I need to cut some in the blue, some in the red. So I'm going to get out. I'm going to have everything ready to go got my with the Gemini you want your base cutting plate you want your uh, fab metal plate because if you think cutting fabric you want to cut it like a pair of scissors and we're going to start here so here's how I like to do it now you get all those plates don't you in the box with the Gemini and you don't Everything. have to buy anything else it's all included in that and price, what we've it? even put in for you as well John is we've even included the um are you going to fit on there oh not quite have a look I might, I might cut it this way and cut the quarter inch square triangles on there uh, we've even included in here for you the um the all of the paper craft cutting plates as well so yeah so basically everything that you could possibly <gasps> need look at your look at your look at your reaction you see this is what i don't understand you could have made twice the money yes you could have gone paper craft as you buy this so as you buy this big that's not how we work no though, i'm learning that no I'm that's not how that. we work so, right, so we need uh, 12 of these. So what I would do is I would pop that one on, right? And you would pop this down, tape this on. So you, you actually waste very, very little fabric as we're going. Tape that down, and then I'm going to send that through, and I'm going to start cutting. So I need 12 of each one, but I need them in the different colours, and then I also need a plain one to go with it as well. So now you only use one bit of sticky tape on that one, because earlier you used two, didn't you, told it in place. You only need to use one, really. I've only used one. Look what I'm going to do as well. The machine, because we haven't really talked about the machine much, no. has a auto reverse function on. So what it does is I've sent it through. Because I'm only cutting a little bit at the top, I press pause and then reversed it out. So then when it comes back out the other end, can you see? I've just cut. Oh, I didn't get all the way to the end. I was going to say, <laughs> how do you know to get through? Yes, I didn't. Right, let's have a look. Should we just send that through and cut it all the way to the end? And I'll have a little bit more patience this time, John. Yes, because you're right. at 16 seconds. So. Oh, yeah. Well, do you know what? I might just wait. I might just let it go through all the 16 seconds. Oh. And we'll just, we'll just give it 16 seconds of cutting time, should we? But it's going to cut. What I love is, is it cuts it exactly the right size and it builds in your seam allowance. Yes. So that's the really clever bit. It's going to build in that seam allowance for you. And it's the traditional quarter inch seam allowance. Quarter inch, quilting. yes. Not what I was telling you last week at no. one point. I had my quarters and my halves all mixed up. I wouldn't care. I stitch everything with a quarter inch. Uh, I just kept saying half inch. Well, it's only because we were doing half, in, half square triangles and quarter square that's triangles. That's right. It gets all confusing, doesn't it? 
So look at this. Can you see I'm, I'm wasting so little fabric yeah. because I'm going right up to the edge there, getting that next piece stuck down. And I actually think I might cut some... Uh, I might cut some of these while I'm on as well so that I've got all the different sizes cut and I can show you the different ones as we're going as we're going along. Now have you got those touching or is there a tiny like eighth of an inch gap in between? About an eighth of an inch. Yeah, yeah. Yep, about an eighth of an inch so that I haven't haven't wasted any fabric. No. But then I also what you don't want is your um you don't want your dies crossing over each other. Because if they cross over each other, if you think it's going to be too thick for the machine. And actually, that's a really good point. We also built a safety feature into the machine. So we built it so that if you, I mean, I tell you, you can cut eight layers of fabric. I know the first thing you're going to do is try and be a bit cheeky and see what happens if you try and cut 12 or 15 yeah. layers of fabric. Or, or some fabrics do have a thicker density to them, don't they? Yep. It might be that eight of your thickest, thickest fabric might find them a bit difficult. Might too much. So what's it do? What's if it, it do? It, it stops and auto reverses out. So it's going to auto reverse it out there as well. How does it know? Oh, How it's does it clever. Know? I don't understand. It's so clever. So look at this. I just love the fact that we're not wasting anything here, John. We, the, the amount of waste fabric that's generated when you use the, um, the builder block is, is almost, I mean, look at this. It's yeah. almost negligible. So I'm getting plenty cut out here. It's a little bit like a jigsaw machine as you're yeah. putting it together. But it's the same amount of fabric. This is what I wanted to impress on everybody. The same amount of fabric that you would probably waste as it was if you were cutting these by hand as yeah. well. And also you can save all those little those little shreds because you can use it for stuffing when you need to stuff something later on. You can use all those little shreds. People keep them in a pillowcase and just use it to stuff things later on. I quite like that idea. Mm -hmm. I'd never thought about no it like that. There's no waste whatsoever. Right, let's have a look. I'm probably cutting way more pieces than what I need, but you're gonna you're gonna cut several blocks, aren't you? Yeah. Right? But I just want to kind of cut a few out and show you. So I've done a few in the red. We'll do a few in the blue, and I'll also cut a few in the green. Now, uh, this was to demonstrate how little fabric you're going to waste. I'm going to be slightly more wasteful here, just in the essence of time, yeah. to show you. Let's have a look. I'm going to cut. I've got some nice green at the same time. All right. Here we go. So uh, let's have a look. I'm going to fold this, and we're going to fold it into three so that we can we can kind of use we can do three of these at once yeah. uh, let's have a look no, actually i'll fold it into four and then i can cut my eight of these small ones john yeah nice and i'll cut eight of each of these and then i'll cut eight of each of the other one and then have i done eight or have i done way more let's find out we'll see you, know we'll you put it through the machine if it's too much for the machine look you can also do that slightly tilting thing that i was teaching yes, you yes. about mm -hmm. yep so you're going to just line it all up now what you will find is when you get this home you'll you'll want to just play you'll kind of forget about patchworking for a while and it'll all just be about the cutting. cutting out yeah and it's just it just makes something that was traditionally so time consuming just basically a right faff it'll take all the hard work out of it and do all the cutting for you in right. real life when you're at home do you iron your fabrics first because obviously i know you're racing against the clock now but um i don't oh. but i probably should yeah no. <laughs> i bet you do well no you just don't want to do cut you don't want to cut across a, a crease that's no, all because when that might make give it a bit of a Yes, I've, uh, I, I learned that one the hard way as well. So, yes, you, 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 you're getting to know me well already, John, aren't you? Sadly. <laughs> oh, oh. That's all right, it's just off the edge because I've just used a really thick piece of the... Uh, but it went now, through. They all went through. Look at that. I think I've asked it to cut. Oh, too many layers. So how many have we gone through here? This is the thicker part. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have a look. It's got a couple of... Uh, and you see, I've just yeah, yeah. just quite caught the edge. It's almost made, isn't it? It has. It's, you know, and this is what you'll find is you'll start and learn your limits on your machine. Yeah. Because this is a really thick quilting fabric. Look, it's quite like in six layers of the really thick quilting fabric. Yeah. But that's going to be enough to kind of get us get us through. You'll uh, you'll learn that one. And then I'll do exactly the same with the blue. And this is with the um. Oh, this is your other Japanese one, John. Yeah. And I will, uh, I will warn you now. This is. I hope there's some of this left because this is the, um, this is the blue one that I was using earlier as well. So I'm going to cut six layers of this one as well. Okay. Now I do need to tell you something very quickly. Go on. Go on. Um, I'm, 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 these are the only three I've got left. No. They've all sold out, right? Apart from, you've got your jumping carp on red. No, koi. Yeah, koi carp on red. You've got your dragons and blossom on blue. And you've got your cranes on golden brown. 
all of these and those all sold out and we had, we had loads we had loads of that and it's all sold out sunny will try and get some more i promise but at the moment they're the only three i've got left there's a couple there's a couple remember i brought you japanese fabrics in like week one or week two when i was here there's a couple of those on the web that are from there but in these brand new ones right that's all that's left those three are the only three that are left i'm, I'm ever so sorry but i'm also very happy anyway uh, sorry yeah you saying that you're you're not go, you go and apologize to sharon because it's sharon who's going to get all of the abuse from everybody saying where's that fabric i didn't realize john was going to be coming on at such and such a time i missed it <laughs> so um I'll right send them all her way here we go i've got loads cut out john yeah so hopefully this is going to be enough to kind of get me started cutting out so i'm going to follow the pattern this is when it becomes a little bit like a jigsaw right yeah. so i've got plenty of this all cut out now and i'm going to follow Follow the instructions so here we go you're going to follow along the line and you can see so it shows you that top line so we're going to, let's let's treat the green as though it were the white one in here right. yep so we're going to treat green as white we'll do the blue as the blue and we'll do the pink as the red one so let's go along the first line so you're going to have a white big one and then you're going to have a blue big one so they're going to go together then we're going to have a blue quarter square it's, it's, I'll move this along a little bit and have it here. So we're going to have a blue quarter square, which is going to come along like this. Then we're going to have a, sorry, a blue half square there. There's another big one. There we go. So we're going to have a blue half square here. Then we're going to have a red quarter square one here. There we go. And then we're going to have a green quarter square one at the top. And you see it all kind yeah, of coming yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we're going to have a red half square triangle like this and then we're going to have a green half square triangle so i'll move all of that along so that the camera oops oh. daisy me can all oh. follow i was trying to keep that on you so can you see how that's starting to come together yes so exactly. there is the top line and what happens is because they're, they're a little bit too big at the moment but what's going to happen is you're going to stitch these two together in fact i'll come in and do this right let's stitch this center piece together and because you're allowing that quarter of an inch seam allowance there once we stitch these together it will show you where that quarter inch is going to go perfectly well and of course the quarter square triangles two quarter square triangles are going to make the half square triangle so when we open this out now and give it a bit of a finger press that is now exactly the same as this one so these two then come and lie perfectly straight together and that is that is the difference can you see i'm going to show you that again that is now exactly the same as what the half square was because it built all of that uh, seam allowance for you yeah. that is what i personally as a beginner when i mean i didn't do any quilting before we had the patchwork dies out so i hadn't done it kind of the regular way that's what i just thought you know this is a this is a craft which is now accessible for someone like me whereas i would not be interested in all the difficult part of the um the kind of stitching that went along with it yeah. so look at that that's now given me that perfect piece there uh -huh. which these are going to attach to and what i'll do is instead of stitching all the top one together let's follow on and do the next layer yeah because you stitch them together row by row by row, row by and row. then show, yep. show the rows together don't you so i'll do i'll do all of that uh, and you you keep talking john all right <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that just trying. you keep talking i'm packed up i'm ready to go home right so um Japanese fabrics are 6 99 for half a meter. I've only got those three left, uh, but choose two and you get those two for £12.50. Uh, the Purple Gemini machine is this now, only available on my shows now. Now, your caddy will be purple, right? Your caddy will match it. It's just that they're so limited that the other purple caddy we've got somewhere else, we don't know where it is. But uh, here's the still. Right, so for 209 96 which is what you pay for this, you also get all those dies thrown in for free. Now, it's UK only, UK only because of the voltage, obviously. Oh, and there you can see the purple caddy on there, so it matches perfectly. Uh, and then you get the three dies, the diamonds, the triangles, and the hexes. Now, I'll say it once more. If you haven't used your first-time buyer being part of Club Inspire, you will get 20% off if you do. Or if you've already used that, if you check, when you check out, you put in John 20 in capital letters, uh, when you check out, you'll get a further, not, that's not, I mean, that's already 209, look, should be 299, right? Should be 299, right? 
it's not that's not the discount you get a further 20 percent off that i know these are limited right a limited edition and only available now on the john scott sewing world don't worry oh the bag dies the bag dies the bag dies Oh, it's on a still. Brilliant. Oh, it's on a still. I thought I started tidying up. Matt, the bag dies from earlier. Very, very popular. I didn't even know these existed till I went into the shop. £39.99. Um, you get the three. You get all three. You get all three, not just the one look. And they're half price. So you'd normally be paying uh, nearly £80 for those, wouldn't you? So the three bags you can do are, this is the carpet bag. Right, all the, all the pattern pieces are cut. This one's the bowling bag. Oops, right? It's lovely, a nice fabric, that one, isn't it? And then this one is the one that Sarah showed you earlier, the crossover bag. You can do it with gusset or without gusset, right? I know, how brilliant is that? The clips, 4 99 for two packets. You should see the mess I'm creating here. Um, I need to be a bit more. Oh, there you go on the still. Oh, oh no, sorry. That's the that's the uh, that's not the clips. That's the um, three for two, right? You can choose any three. So I just saw the price and went straight to the clips. I've forgotten that was so reasonable. You see, what's the little star? Yeah, price is starting from four ninety nine. So you choose two. No, that's wrong. You choose three and you pay for two. We haven't got the um, magnetic studs in the silver color at the moment, but uh, we've got it in the brass and the rose gold and all the others, the buckle, the square ring and the D rings are all available in all three colors. The panels for the face uh, coverings, we have got the rainbow in the curved shape and the rectangular shape. And we've got the uh, squiggle one, uh, the other one for si 16 pounds now. You get the panel to make six face masks or face coverings, plus the elastic, plus the um, instructions, all for £16. I know, it is brilliant. One more before we go back to Sarah. Now, this Sarah showed this one earlier, right? You're paying for one, you get the other one for free. They are both £59.99 each. So if you bought them separately on another day, it would be your £120. But what we're saying today is you buy one. So say you buy the uh, Junkin's Path one, you get the other one completely and utterly for free. It's half price. I know. Look at the time. Right, let's go back to Sarah very quickly. Yeah, you've, to you've totally lost me, John. Can you see I've got the whole thing? I've lost you. You've totally lost me. I've, I, in terms of, um, my head's not here anymore. Yeah, I'm, okay. not, I'm not kind of in the room with you anymore. That's fine. Uh, look, can you see, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally piecing these together now. <gasps> so I'm taking the, I can what, see you can you see the card one. trick. This is my favourite one. But every time you just take the quarter square triangles and you whiz the quarter square triangles together. Yeah. And this is why this made the, the whole concept of build a block I mean, you've watched me literally from opening the box. So it's kind of like an out, out of the box experience. Uh, from opening the box, you can get here, uh, basically start and make your whole quilt be. And what I love again is, so the quarter inch, this quarter square triangles, once you've got two together, so like this one here, is now exactly the right size, even to the point whereby those dog legs, are they dog legs or dog ears? Dog legs. Dog legs, I thought it was. So the dog legs all line up perfectly on the corners so that again if you're not quite sure where your quarter inch square your your quarter inch seam allowance is you're <laughs> just going from the doggy uh, the dog leg yeah, the dog, exactly. yeah the dog's behind to the dog's behind yeah. <laughs> no, you're not um, going to the dog's behind sandra <laughs> says as one of your paper crafting ladies i've got the sewing machine and love it uh, the gemini machine love it i've watched every show since you started in lockdown this is my new normal lj says sarah it's watching you get that's giving me confidence to try to make a bag Kathy says, I sew, but I've never tried to make a bag before. I have the Gemini and I'm anxious to get the bag dies and cork to give it a try. Jackie says, John and Sarah, I bought Builder Block and Builder Block Plus when they first came out. Any chance I can buy the double wedding ring on its own? Love yes. your shows and your products. Yes, of course. You can go, everything's available on its own. If I'm being really honest though, um, why don't you, it's only £10 more to get the extra set of builder block, which means you can then cut twice as many at the same time. Oh, well, there you go. So I know a lot of people have been doing that recently. They've been buying a second one so that you can do twice as much cutting at the same time. Brilliant. Right, I think we've run out of time. Anything oh. you'd like to say, Sarah, before you go home? Uh, I'm getting on crackingly well here, aren't I? I shall stay and finish my uh, card trick. Bear in mind, at the beginning, I did 
the um the Junkets path. path on there as well and that was with the tulip uh, tuliping fabrics before they sold out but how quick and easy is it to do quilting when you've got your gemini machine if there's one thing you're going to take away from today it's treat yourself to a gemini while you've got john's special purple limited edition one <laughs> uh, and then and then every week whether we're doing some bag making whether we're doing some quilting trust me yes you can cut everything out by hand or we'll have something to make it a lot quicker and a lot easier for you and that's it that's it for another week how that has flown past that for us now the most important thing is go and check out your baskets that is the most important thing because i don't want anyone else missing out we'll be back next tuesday again nine o'clock next tuesday We've got another fantastic show lined up for you sunny's been telling me what's been coming in for the next few weeks and it's just amazing so uh we'll see you exactly the same same time next week take care lots of love